Oh my, hey everybody, this is Justin Case of American Newscape. Join our friend, media and media personality, Jerry Maldonado, back for another installment of American Mentoring. <laughs> Hello, Jerry, welcome back to American Newscape. Hey man, how are you? Happy Monday! Happy Monday! Hey, you know, I don't, I don't know if you heard, we're having a heat wave out here, but, you know, it's July in the desert southwest. Yeah, <laughs> oh no no you guys got a dry heat it's a sponge over here man we're hitting about 75 percent dew point even the trees are wilting you know it's pretty bad over here oh well well we're used to this because it's july of course they didn't they didn't never used to put out warnings they, they just told you hey it was 119 today it was a record yeah. or it was not 119 no today and the record was last year okay all and right then, now the phone notifications go off and the sirens blare i mean they really uh if people only knew what we went through as children, sitting in hot cars while our parents shop <laughs> exactly. in heat waves like this, they exactly. have no idea. Right. They have no idea. They they, they do have no idea. But, mm -hmm. hey, Jerry, self-talk. Jerry, what's happening with self-talk? Well, you, you would know this from, from your upper echelon and age. You remember the psychic hotline many moons ago? <laughs> <laughs> it's called one 900 one nine hundred, screw you. And that's basically what they were telling you. They were taking money from you. But uh, we we have this power of self talk. Um, I just came. You got to forgive me. I just came from my mom's, and I want to use two scenarios of self talking with the same gene pool. And it's a really emotional thing for me, but it uh, hopefully it helps people out there. Uh, you got two people. One lives in peace all his life and follows life to the fullest, is very quiet, passionate, loving soul, uh, passes away many moons ago in his sleep peacefully. And you have another soul, mind you, I know these people personally. Mind you, you have another soul who, who lives life for the past 50, 40, 50 years, constantly speaking of ill health, lack, and all these things in life literally living out that self-fulfilling prophecy in their life and I, I i bring my life to the table a lot with them with my shows and i'm sorry something just fell down and it's personal stories like this that will really help people understand what you say is what you bring and as i went to my mom's today she again uh after living four or five decades with constant illnesses and constant hospitalizations, as you know, which I have told, gave me more news of yet another issue happening in her life, which is, is I wouldn't say terminal, but all brought about by, by what she's been saying for decades and decades and decades, how hard life is, how often she's sick, self-talking, you know, life and death are in the power of the tongue. I think it was Corinthians 1836. I'm not quite sure of the correct verse. But these guys thousands of years ago knew what they were talking about. If people would grasp the what they're saying to themselves, they'll truly understand what they're bringing to themselves. And you are your own self-fulfilling prophecy. Every word you utter, and I'm going long tonight, but it, it's really powerful. People need to understand it. We have so much out there in this world right now. It's so abundant. We can learn anything. If there's anything that you need to learn in life is to be better about what you say to yourself. Because how what you say is what you're thinking. What you're thinking is what you're feeling. And what you're feeling is what you're going to manifest eventually in your life. Life and death are in the power of the tongue indeed. It doesn't mean death per se, but it means the feelings of it. Right. Well, that's too true, Jerry. And when you talk about uh, self-talk, we need to be careful how we talk to others, too. I mean, we need to be careful how we talk to our loved ones because we can, we don't want to impart self-fulfilling prophecies on them. You know, we yes, don't want to will indeed. that to happen. 
And, you know, you and I both know to get better, it, it's almost, you, you almost need to be in a meditative state where you can ground yourself and move forward. You know, I always yeah. ask myself that question. Yeah, I've always asked myself that question. I never really fit in with the negative crowd growing up, and I always felt like an outsider as people were throwing um, bombs constantly of negativity and how hard life is. And then I actually started to believe that. And when they start, when, when people show their negative side to you, is they're showing their pain to you. They don't know how to channel it out. They take it on other people. But the problem is those words resonate. You and I know it. We were brought up on it. And we realized that later on in life that we didn't, th those words were not us. It didn't define us. And we found a way. Now, with the internet and the ability to learn anything you want and overcome virtually anything out there, it's right there at your fingertips. We, we, you and I, you and I went, went it the hard way, man. We, we did it the hard way. We did it through, through channeling and sadness and sorrow and understanding that, wait, this is not me. This doesn't define me. And when people get to that point of understanding that it doesn't matter what somebody says to them, it's what I say to myself that matters most in life. Yeah, and you know, Jerry, if, being an, an old dinosaur such as myself, I used to grow up and I would always say, well, you know, let's just use a name, Billy Bob. He needs to wake up in a pool of his own blood. Yeah, I mean... And we, we woke Word. up in pools of our own blood and we know what that was. And that, you know, that's almost like that rebirth, you know, that opportunity to, to move forward and, uh, you know, make a better lot in life for ourselves. Yeah. And, and, and people think self-talk is so passe, but it's so powerful. I watched it resonate in the same gene pool in my own family with all different people, you know, and I've watched them for decades and not knowing what I was doing, I was conducting basically a gene experiment. You got the same genes acting different ways with different outcomes. You got predictable ways, all happening, habitual ways, and you got some that changed, you got some that didn't change. And people who believe in the gene pool theory and heredity and all these things in life, that that's all changeable. But it's up to you to make the change. It's up to you to understand the power of every word you utter shows the world who you are. Therefore, you attract that who you are. So if you're constantly uttering and muttering how bad life is, how, how well you're not doing in life, you can only resonate that. You and I have lived on both sides of the coin. We've not had it, and then we've had it. We say, wait, having it is nice. Let's keep proceeding with that same kind of mindset and still keep proceeding with that mindset because we've, been, we've seen where it wasn't and it just wasn't us. And I'm glad that voices like us come out there and the thousands of us that come out here all the time. It's not about inspiration. It's about manifestation. Right. Well, and you know, Jerry, you and I are gifted and it's a gift we'd like to share with others. To us, it's about it. You know, whether it's riding high yeah. or riding low, it's it. We celebrate it. You know, this opportunity, this moment in time. Um, and it's, it's all a, changeable. Everything is changeable. Go ahead. Well, no, that, that's and you're exactly right. It is changeable and it will change. Mm -hmm. Whether we want to wallow yeah. in the mud or whether we want to, you know, pick ourselves up by our bootstraps and, and get back after it. it you know, to change your life, you got to change your life, and and that just that just doesn't mean your looks there, meatball. It's about your inside, <laughs> which is most important. Everybody thinks they get a new haircut, they're gonna feel better. Yeah, that might be a temporary fix, but go go drink a Red Bull, you get a temporary fix as well. Inner peace, inner peace of self. I mean, there's no better feeling in the world than having that inner peace about yourself, knowing that, knowing who you are. Few people do that. I get it. They need the validation from other people. I get it. Um, and I respect that. It's their own inner self. But when, but the, every word, I can't, I can't, I, I, I've seen it. I've seen the physicality of what it does to people in their life. And people have too. They just don't understand what's going on around them. Every single word shows the world, the universe, energy, the quantum field, quantum mechanics, who you are, how you use the tool, which in essence is a power tool of self is what you're going to bring to yourself. Well, I agree. And, you know, I believe you're probably in the same boat that I am. If if we're, we don't give out gold stars, but we'll help, we will celebrate others 
energy towards making a difference and or improving themselves all it's the not, time absolutely all the time it's not gold star worthy it's you know we need to take yeah. we need to notice and uh we need to celebrate it as we do ourselves yes the same way you cut down people as people did to you and i the same way we should be celebrating people like you and i and imagine if everybody celebrated each other i mean the world would be a completely different place and can be mind you what a different mindset it's all about mindset and when i realized there's a science behind thinking many many moons ago i realized that the, ex the experiment i was conducting was on myself and the epiphany is is finding out why things are happening in your life wow this is what's this is why and the minute you change that your life changes it's your it's it's you being yourself the best you all the time as much as you can indeed we don't feel good all the time i don't feel good right now you know, i'm looking at the person who i known for the last 57 years literally deteriorating in front of me and i watched her do it to herself bringing upon this herself granted uh, I, I i respect her wishes but stories like these i hope empower people to help them understand that they can change anything they can change their health they can change their perspective they can change their finance they can change their success they can change anything they want in their life but it all starts with how and what you're saying about yourself to yourself which projects from yourself well that's true and uh you know it, and we need to support those that can't support themselves emotionally uh, mm -hmm. uh we can try and and well, not necessarily guide them but we show them a better path you know show them a better ah. path bingo bingo example to be a better just be the example and watch how it resonates you know it's like going into a room and you can change the energy just by being yourself whether good and or bad and we've ex everybody experienced that somebody walks into a room either goes up energy or goes down energy we it, it's it's there guys that so you can't see it on a physical sense but the energy is there and that's projecting out you're feeding off that person who walked in that room off his or her energy we have that power to do it with ourselves because we're projecting it ourselves right. and few people can can grasp that but believe me when i tell you um when you start understanding yourself you don't understand what you're bringing to yourself on a higher level just by knowing who you are you know and, and this is nothing i'm proud of but i, I must have been early 20s I was uh, tolerating something from a relative and I, I stopped them and I suggested that I would not tolerate this from a friend and I will not tolerate this from you. You got a lot more uh, courage than I do, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, when maybe. It comes to, well, yeah, I, I, don't like, I don't like to burn bridges, but I also respect people's feelings. I just kind of nudge my way out of the group. And this is why I never, I, I was never in conflict with people. I just... I just didn't understand why when everything around us is so abundant I was, this is why i was thinking why am i different or am i weird everything around me is so abundant but everybody hates life it makes no sense to me that's when i realized what they were conditioned to think and they were just projecting that out every day we're taught as animals how to speak act and be from a very young age well, and when you realize you were taught when you realize you were taught one way that you could be learned to be taught another way well, Jerry, rest assured, you and I are both weird, but we can <laughs> we can celebrate that. Yes, yes, uniqueness, indeed, <laughs> uniqueness. I I have no problem with that at all because it brings me peace. I, I don't fit in. I don't want to stand out. I'm just going to be here as I am, and hopefully, others will understand that as well for themselves. That's because we watched Popeye when we were younger. We am what we am. And Tom and Jerry and all yes. the good shit. Yes, I, I still get it on my Facebook page, man. I love it. I, I still, I love going back to that. I love it. Absolutely love it. Nothing wrong with watching cartoons, folks. It's okay. Well, yeah, it's a nice it's place. Okay. To, it's a nice place to go every once in a while. And yeah. I hate to be a spoiler. The Roadrunner is not, I mean, the Coyote is not going to catch the Roadrunner. Uh, no, but it's a fun way to get your head bashed in. Yeah, what the hell? Exactly. They, they, they won't they won't show that nowadays. But but hopefully that this subject really resonates with people. Not to be oh Jerry's mom is sick. No 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 no. This is this is life, and you 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 have that power in every word you utter and every word you speak. 
to change that narrative, to change that direction, but it's completely up to you. Yeah, we've all been conditioned to live otherwise. Indeed, we're surrounded by negativity where we go, doesn't mean we have to be at meatball. It's a matter of you making a choice. You want to live in peace and harmony, or do you want to live in chaos? A mind in chaos can only bring more chaos to that mind. Mind in chaos. Well, I agree with you, Jerry. Why don't you leave us with a couple parting thoughts? And I, I do appreciate the energy you put into this. So, uh, and I, I think you brought a very powerful message to us. I just, honestly, I just hope it just saves somebody's lives emotionally. Because we don't die physically before we die emotionally. Right? That, that starts the process. And looking at my mom today as I left, and great, she, she's great, she's okay. She, she's okay. But she kept saying, why me? And I didn't want to answer her. Because you could tell by the what she was uttering, what she's been thinking for decades and how it has resonated in different forms and facets of her life. That this is real science, people. This is that this is life in a nutshell. You know what I mean? You send out whatever you want to send out. We have that free will. We were given that free will. Whatever we were dropped down here from a from an upper higher power, a stork, a, a pigeon, who knows? But we have this power to change our lives just by changing what we say, think, act, and feel every day. Wow. Hey, Jerry, thank you. Hey, everybody, this has been Justin Case and Jerry Maldonado bringing you American Mentoring. Thanks for joining us. Remember, additional information and links to provide in this video is read more. Today is the day to subscribe to this channel. Please learn more about, blah, 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 blah. Please learn more about Jerry Maldonado when time permits.